Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Here's the bottom rack. It's looking real nice. I got my pants hung up, some Aduva stuff over there. But as you guys can see, we are downstairs. This room is way under construction, dude. I got stuff everywhere. I got some teas and some teas over here. And that's what brings us to today's video. We're downstairs and you guys saw the video where we put up the things on the wall to hang my jackets and hoodies. I'm trying to figure out my situation with my teas. A lot of my teas are in bins and they're hidden. I can never get to them. I can never wear them. So I'm trying to figure out something with my closet over here, Isaac. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. I might tear this thing out, take off the doors. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but pulling out all my teas, they were all in one place together. And I thought that since all the teas are out, I might as well sit down and we can run through them real quick and I can show you guys each t-shirt that I have. So, uh, that's what we're doing. All right, everybody say what's up to the homie, Isaac. Say something to the people. What's up guys? Make sure you just follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Right a little shameless plug, I have to. Isaac's gonna be my tea feeder today. He's gonna help toss me some teas while we're going through them to make it quick. Hey, this is the new swag I'm gonna get on, dog. I'm gonna have people all over this with the hard hat with the hood, dog. Yeah. Sup, I'm gonna pull up to the spot. They're gonna be like, yo, that looks like a hard hat. I'm like, yo, it is one, dog. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, or we can pull up like this, dog. It's good. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm gonna take the hat off. Now the hood's gotta go on. Alright, today I'm gonna show you guys my personal collection of t-shirts. Now, with that being said, this is my personal collection. So these are t-shirts that mean something to me, that I like, that fit my personal taste. So I don't want you guys to have any expectations. If we're on the same page, then let's get it cracking. Isaac's gonna help me. He's gonna feed them to me. I'm gonna show you guys the teas. Some of them I'll take out of the plastic, but I would say like 80%, most of them, I am gonna leave in the plastic. So, with that being said, make sure you guys go check out Preem Population on the gram. The best aftermarket community to ever exist. We have a big family at Preem Population. We do a lot of live videos. We talk about Supreme before, after, during the drop, and it's a great place for the summertime. You can win Supreme teas for cheap, so go check it out. Alright, Isaac, hit me. Let's go. First tea is the Swimmer's Tea. This was one of my favorite teas out of the group of teas that dropped with these sometime in 2018. Creeper Tea Red. This is from this season. I really wanted the camo colorway of this, but ended up with the red. MLK Blue. I love this blue color. I have a Nan Golding in this t-shirt. This color looks really good with khaki. Shout out to MLK. Next two are Hellraiser Tees. A lot of people ask me about this t-shirt. Where did I do it? How did I make it? The answer is I don't know. This t-shirt was gifted to me by Drops by Jay. So shout out Wes. Thank you for gifting me this t-shirt. And then here's the black pinhead shirt right here. Next Next is the Tentacles Tea. This dropped with the Swimmers Tea last spring summer, I believe. Just spell out Supreme on the banana t-shirt. Next is a Fruit Tea. This dropped this season. All right, Liquid Swords. This is in black, I believe, size large. All of these teas are dead stock with tags, either in plastic or with store tags. Here's an Eternal Tea. It has like that cancer ribbon loop thing and it says Eternal Supreme. Next is a Keyboard Tea. I bought this in navy for this summer so I can rock it with some white shorts. This was a dummy slept on t-shirt. Next is Gon's T-shirt in gray. This was like the repeat design going all the way down. Group Tea is next. You guys know this one. It has the Supremes on it, and then it has like a fat hand-drawn box logo underneath. This is a pretty cool tea drop sometime in 2018. Here is two smiley tees. He's got the face, and then it says Supreme going all the way up. There was a coach's jacket and another piece by the same artist, but uh, none of that stuff really did very good. Next is Spitfire Wheels tee in orange size large. I got this just because it's an orange graphic, and I don't have that many orange tees, and I love Spitfire. Here is a mint jelly. Jellyfish tea. This tea is probably worth a hundred bucks or more sometime in 2017, but yo, this mint colorway. If you guys look at a lot of these t-shirts, they're banana, mint, orange. I try to get like different color teas so I can have an array to choose from. Here is the Expedition TNF t-shirt in large black. I have no idea why I kept that, but it's in here. Here's the Nan Golding tea I was talking about. I always wear this with khaki pants or khaki.
khaki shorts. This blue that they do in a lot of the collab tees is a very sweet blue. Here is Life Sucks Die tee. This is just an everyday tee that I have upstairs. In natural, I pull out, wear it with black pants all the time. Luden's tee, purple large. So here's an example of the crazy colors. I try to grab a little bit of everything. Here's a death tee. This is from earlier this season. Nothing much to say about Gilbert and George. Here's another Gons logo tee, but this one's in purple. I got gray and purple. I don't know why I ended up with two, but this purple, ooh, this lavender is extremely nice. Here is a f the rest t-shirt. This is from 2015, I believe. Independent Supreme, and it's just got five logos going across the front chest graphic area that says f the rest. Here is another pinhead shirt. This was from the Hellraiser collab. I kept both of the tees that dropped, I believe, in black and white. Here's just some tees from earlier this season. Molotov Kid, I got it in the dark purple colorway, and then I got the who the f is Supreme Tea in the camo. This woodland camo is crazy. This was the first season that they've done it in a t-shirt, so I wanted to stock up on a couple of those. And then we got Ghost Rider in orange. This was the best graphic on the best color out of all of them that dropped a couple weeks ago. So gas on this orange t-shirt. Next, I got two bedroom tees. One belongs to Duva and one belongs to me. Mine's white. I bought this recently just so I can rock it this summer. A nice clean white tee is never to go without. So here's a cat in the hat tee black size large. This is the only cat in the hat tee I have. Duva's been working on getting a couple more, but as of right now, that's the only one. Sekitani long sleeve from last week. I got it in white again. I think I don't have enough white shirts, and then I end up buying more white shirts, and then I have too many white shirts. So here's a cool t-shirt. This is a $100 bill tee from fall winter 2017. There's a bunch of different graphics going on in here. There's a bunch of words. I don't know what it says. One zillion, and it says out of here. This note is illegal tender. Future is f So this was a really cool graphic. Fall winter 2017. We got Leda and the Swan. This was my favorite graphic from the opening tees this season. And then we got a camo fronts tee. This one's Duba's. I believe it's a medium. Next three t-shirts are my Arabic logos. I have a white one right here that's used that I wear often. And then I have a red and a brown one that are both dead stock in the bag with tags right here. Can never have too many Arabic tees. Here's a cool t-shirt from 2015. This is the tee. It's got this like little dairy vibes going on. That's why I like it because it reminds me of Chino and like cornfields and dairies. And then on the back it says this is the I got it in a green colorway, and then it's dead stock with tags in the pale yellow colorway. So here is a still life tee. This was from sometime in 2018. The cyan blue, always a slapper. One of my favorite tees, the Mirage tee. Spring, summer 17, the last week of the season, they dropped this Mirage tee. You got like this Egyptian style scene in the bottom with palm trees, and then it's got Supreme in like this neon light. That is an awesome t-shirt. Chicken dinner. These are awesome t-shirts as well. This this orange one is my favorite one, and then I got an ash gray one as well. Those were chicken dinner. Here's my Cupid tees, two grays, one to stock and one to rock, and then I got this rust one. Duva wanted me to grab this one. Next, I got two Gons head tees. One is gray and one is red. This one's sealed in the plastic from online. This one's in a bag that I put it in, so I will probably end up rocking this gray one first, but uh, a hella slept on graphic. Can never have too many Gons tees. Spring, summer, 17 thrash. Tees. I got a black one and a blue one right here. The blue has mustard and the black has pink. This is the girlfriend graphic where it says, why can't my boyfriend skate? Here is a spin logo from late 2015 or early 16. It has this logo small on the front and then flip and dip on the back. You have a fat spin logo on the back as well. Here are some of my favorite tees in my collection. Here is an x-ray tee. I believe this says fall winter 16 on it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Man, this this is such an awesome t-shirt. I bought it online the day of the drop. It's been in this plastic ever since. One of my favorite Supreme tees going along with these two as well. These are crazy. Spring, summer 17, a Larry Clark tee. I love this t-shirt. It goes way above 100 bucks. Very good t-shirt. And this is probably 
my favorite in my entire collection. I know I've said the word favorite probably like six times. I have many different favorites, but out of all my favorites, this is my favorite. It's called the Special Feelings Tea. The original graphic says animals are friends, not food, but they changed it to Supreme is a special feeling. You got like this little cherub girl and she's standing with all these little animals. Awesome t-shirt, one of my favorite that Supreme has ever dropped. So let's speed through this. Christopher Walken, black. I love Christopher Walken. Here's Madonna. I believe this one belongs to Duva. And then this is the only photo tee that's down here, which is Gucci, black, size small. That belongs to Duva as well. I got my Bless t-shirt in white, size large. Shout out Sean Pablo and shout out to Bless. I have some Christmas tees, sex skeletons from 2017. And then I have a Santa tee from 2016. This is my used one that I wear every Christmas time. All right, and the last and final shirt out of all of my Supreme Tees is this Child of Hell tee right here. Duva got me this for Christmas last year, so it means a lot. I love this graphic. It's from 2015. It's got like some cartoon balloons, and then it just says Child of Hell. All right, y'all, I think that is it for all of the t-shirts. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please drop a like down below for your boy. So the first person that can comment down below exactly how many tees I just showed you guys, I will PayPal you $10, and to the kid that I have haven't paid $10 to for the last question you got right, I promise I will pay you right now. I hope you guys didn't have too many expectations or uh, were let down in any way. I know I don't have the craziest, rarest tea collection, but I do have a lot of them, and that's why I wanted to show you guys we were moving them back and forth, trying to figure out where in the room they're gonna go and what I'm gonna do with them. So I thought I'd just set up the tripod, make a quick video, go through them, and uh, share my collection of teas. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Much love to all you guys. Please drop some love down below, some likes, and some comments for your Dog. We'll see you guys on the next video tomorrow. We'll catch you guys then. All right, much love. Peace out. I'm out of here. Deuces. Till the next time. Later, skater.